Mm, salutations, YouTube. Um, I have backtracked on what I initially said. Um, as you can see, there are two daggers along with uh, these were uh, lower uppers along with this one which was a, a I believe well yeah this one goes with this box this was sent out as a whole gun um, this was a Black Friday deal this is the gun I'm having problems with this is the uh, Siley Wolf Zero which is uh, a 704 Tactical talked about it. It's an RMR footprint. I'm going to put this on here. Reason being, longer sight radius on this one. Shorter sight radius here. So I'm going to move this over to this. Um, as far as I can tell, i got an Amendment 2 mag in here. This gun's worked the way it's supposed to the whole time. Haven't had any issues out of this lower. This was a lower. This was an upper. Um, I decided originally I wanted to have one just standard, and then one with all the the laser the thing. And now I just decided to have one with a red dot, one with a laser, with a longer sight radius. And this is actually I've been carrying this one. Um, this one's never acted up. Um, this one hasn't acted up yet, so we'll go ahead and put this one to the side. Um, I'll go ahead and take my mag out. Those are 100, I believe. Um, as you can see, there's nothing in there. She's clear. These two have functioned great. Now this one, this is the one that's giving me the problem. So we'll go ahead and move it out of the way, and I'll show you what it's doing. See, it doesn't reset. Now, if you have your finger off the trigger, it'll reset, usually. See, it reset that time. It won't reset. If you've got any pressure on there, it won't reset. So I sent a video. I have a video. Uh, sent it to Palmetto State. And they said, basically what they said was with that was that I needed to put some oil here. They said oil. <laughs> that was kind of comical. So they said put some oil here or bend this. That was the... Uh, the trigger reset bar and they're saying it's not engaging down here correctly so you can see there's oil there um, but they did offer to send me a new trigger which they did so I have the new trigger here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record it but I'm gonna try to do it fast uh, and I will insert those here in a minute um, I'm gonna move this to this and then I'm going to replace this trigger bar with the new ones sent out by PSA. So we'll speed things up.
Hmm. Still got a dead trigger. See, it reset that time though. Hmm. Reset now. Hmm. Well, that's weird. All right. Is it this? seems to work right so okay so now we've got let me put this away the extra screws for that slide that was working with the uh, red dot on it um, all right now this is the one I'm gonna have with the laser I'm gonna have to test that so this is what came with it this uh, I hate these but uh, when you've got a nice you know small fine custom bit set it seems to work a lot better so, so like I said I just decided and this has been my carry this is my new carry and then we've got that so Seems to be snapping back. I guess I need to go fire it. <sighs> well, I didn't mean to end up with a extra part, but I guess I do. Uh, I guess I have it. So, um, well, when I first felt these at Shot Show 2020, the triggers were horrible. Um, this one is loaded. This is, I just, I don't, I'm not fancy. I just got a crappy UTG. This is going to go back in my carry rotation. And then this is going to be my laser threaded, uh, high sight. And then this one is, now I'm going to have to adjust it. Sealy Wolf, um, but uh, anyhow, I didn't follow through. I I love and hate PSA. I mean, I'll be honest. I, you know, they they make you know like uh, when you sit back and you look at what PSA does, and you got like companies that do just you know standard standard you know Glock Gen 3 clones of the 19 you know and this this was like you know 300 bucks and as PSA has expanded their lines and done more and more um, like I said I got this frame for with this Viridian laser for like a hundred dollars shipped uh, during Black Friday, and then you've got this threaded barrel, these optic height sights, um, you know, it's gray. Um, it's resetting again, so we'll have to shoot it and see if it. I don't know, but you know, you got this. And then this is about a $300 part. And then now you've got this. This was, I got this with a lower. The, uh, I tore my glove. 
so hey I'm white mm. uh, anyway um so this was a combo hundred dollars uh, got a PSA stealth lower and then this it's on their website now and bought the site for I think or the top for two hundred dollars so I had to add my own mag I got the MN2 I like the way that kind of looks it kind of looks a little you know kind of looks a little it'd be nice if we had some filler here but we don't so anyhow um so like i said you can still see the sights through there um see. still see the sights switching it seems to have adjusted it but you know 250 dollars threaded cut you know PSA I wish I would just I really you know <laughs> again I'll continue to harass you put out your products that's all I ask put out your products but until I see y'all again in the next video y'all stay safe and keep shooting